Good morning, my dear students. This is Sandhu Kumar, uh, working as assistant professor in Aramda Engineering College. Uh, today, we are going to discuss about uh, introduction to civil engineering. In this topic, uh, we are going to discuss about uh, sub-disciplines of civil engineering. Before that, uh, you must know the definition about civil engineering and civil engineer. Civil engineering is a professional engineering discipline that deals with the design, construction and maintenance of the physical and naturally built environment including public works uh, such as roads, bridges, canals, dams, airports, sewage system, pipelines, structural components of buildings and railways. Civil engineering is one of the oldest engineering discipline in the field of engineering. Civil engineering involves planning, designing, constructing, maintaining and supervising infrastructures which include facilities essential to modern life like highways, bridges and tunnels, schools, hospitals, airports and other buildings, seaway system and water treatment facilities. Who is civil engineer? What is the work for civil engineer? Civil engineers uh, is an engineer who designs and maintains roads, bridges, dams and similar structures. Civil engineers involve uh, plan, design, construct and operate the facility essential to modern life. Example bridges, highways, water treatment, plant and etc. Civil engineers are problem solvers, meet challenges of pollution, traffic congestion, drinking water and energy needs, urban redevelopment and community planning. Now we are going to discuss about sub-disciplines of civil engineering. Civil engineering is traditionally broken into a number of following sub-disciplines. This figure shows a number of sub-disciplines of civil engineering. One is structural engineering, second one is geotechnical engineering, then water resources engineering, next environmental engineering, next transportation engineering, next urban planning engineering, then construction engineering and construction materials. Now we are going to discuss about one by one. First one is structural engineering. Structural engineering is concerned with the analysis and design of buildings, bridges, towers, walls and other structures. This involves identifying the loads which act upon a structure and the forces and stresses which arise within that structure due to those loads and then designing the structure to successfully support and resist those loads. Structural engineer design the structure should be safe and at the same time its components should be as small as possible. Structural engineers has to not only give a safe structure but he has to give on economic structures also. Next one is geotechnical engineering. Geotechnical engineering is the branch of civil engineering that deals with the soil, rock and underground water and the relation to the design construction and operation of engineering projects. All structures have to finally transfer the load acting on them to soil safely. Soil properties changes from place to place. Even in the same place, it may not be uniform at the different depth and in different seasons. Hence, a civil engineer has to properly investigate soil and decide about the safe load that can be spread on the soil. This branch of study in the civil engineering is known as geotechnical engineering. All the civil engineers must study about soil mechanics. Soil mechanics is a branch of civil engineering that applies the principles of engineering mechanics to soil to predict the mechanical behavior of soil. Next one is water resources. Uh, water resources is further is classified into three types. One is uh, hydraulics engineering. Next one is uh, water resources engineering. Next one is irrigation engineering. Water is an important need for all living beings. Study of mechanics of water and its flow characteristics is another important field in civil engineering and it is known as uh, hydraulics engineering. Requirement of water in cities for domestic purpose and for industries is continuously increasing. Rural areas need for water for agriculture field also. Hence, civil engineers have to look for new water resources and for storing them. This branch of civil engineering is known as water resource engineering. Water stored in the reservoirs by means of dams and it should be brought to agriculture fields through canals and distributaries. Study connected with this aspect is known as irrigation engineering. Next one is Environment Engineering. Environmental Engineering is the application of science and engineering principles to improve the natural environment like air, water and land resources and to provide healthy water, air and land for human and for other organisms and to remediate polluted sites. Environmental Engineering deals with the treatment of chemical, biological and thermal waste 
the purification of water and air and the remediation of contaminated sites due to prior waste disposal or accidental contaminations apart from tackling solid and waste water disposal civil engineers have to tackle air pollution problem also nowadays air pollution is become a major problem vehicles also produce lot of co2 during the last one century the environmental pollution has resulted in global warming by 4 degrees celsius hence environmental engineering is emerging as an important field of study in civil engineering next one is uh, transportation engineering transportation facility is another important need uh, providing good and economical road links is an important duty of civil engineer transportation engineering involves uh, planning designing construction and maintenance of roads railways bridges tunnels airports and harbors and this is known as uh, transportation engineering next one is uh, urban planning and uh, town planning engineering with the growth of a population and industries new towns are coming up and existing ones are growing a proper town planning is to be made by civil engineers this field of civil engineering has grown up so much that it has become a separate branch of engineering this is called urban planning and town planning engineering last one is construction engineering and construction materials construction engineering is a professional discipline that deals with the designing planning construction and management of infrastructures such as roads tunnels bridges airports railroads facilities buildings dams utilities and other projects construction engineers engage in the quality assurance and quality control on site material testing concrete mix design cost estimating planning and scheduling material procurement selection of equipment and budget control all the construction engineer must know the concept about surveying for planning all developmental activities proper maps are required the science of map making is known as surveying surveying is the branch of civil engineering surveying is defined as the measurement of horizontal distances between the two points on the earth surface as well as vertical distance is known as surveying in general surveying is classified into two types one is a plane surveying and another one is geodetic surveying in plane surveying the earth surface is considered as plane and the distance between the two points on the earth surface is considered as straight line and the measurement is taken in this type of plane surveying Uh, give less accuracy result compared to geodetic surveying in geodetic surveying curvature of earth surface also is considered and analyzed hence accuracy of geodetic surveying is more compared to plane surveying in civil engineering different types of uh, construction materials are used examples of construction materials one is a sand brick stones cement concrete timber glass and etc studying those materials is called as construction uh, material engineering or material engineering that's all about uh, sub disciplines of civil engineering in my next video we will discuss about sub disciplines of mechanical engineering thank you